Well, guys, it is time for some torture. I mean, F1. Uh, we're here in Monaco for the Monaco Grand Prix, uh, obviously. And uh, we are once again in our Marussia for episode number two of Snailed It. And it is raining. We've got the intermediate tyres on. Uh, there is a 42% chance of rain. And God, I cannot wait for this. Um, and yeah, here we go. <laughs> Welcome, guys, to the Monaco Grand Prix. And boy, wow, was this hard work recording. <laughs> We're starting in 22nd place as Max Chilton once again for episode number two of Snailed It. Our friend is on the left-hand side, and as the lights are out, and away we go. Um, don't forget to comment down below, hashtag all hail the snail. We want to try and get as many comments as we can for that as we plough into turn one. And um, we've managed to get past about, well, we've managed to get past all the Batmarker teams. Surprised we didn't side pod glitch into Valtteri Bottas there. That would have been interesting to see the pileup that that caused. But uh, we also get past Jean-Eric Verne and um, was that Daniel Ricciardo as well. And wow, we've just got brake checked by Maldonado. Uh, to be fair, we could just crash into him, to be honest. And and barge past him and people will still think that it's his fault you know we could blame it on him and everybody will just believe that it is his fault really so uh, we're already up into 14th place boy we've gained eight places in monaco in one lap and um, the ai are ridiculously slow though as usual on the first lap and we are stuck behind esteban gutierrez uh, once again not even in the points and uh, what's new there and as we can now come down to the new val chicane oh my god what a move oh my god we've only gone and got two places we've also got Roman Grosjean there in one move boy that was impressive that really was a great move as we're wall bouncing like a god through um oh god I really should know the name of that corner as we play bumper cars with Paul De Resta just about barge past him into 11th place and um, next up we've got Nico Hulkenberg looks like someone's lost their front wing as once again we play bumper cars with uh, Nico Hulkenberg and uh, Weber being the troll that he is is just tailing everyone behind um, or just letting everybody form a train behind him because uh, he's lost his front wing what a guy and uh, yeah usually it's the snail train we haven't had it yet this series apart from one lap in Australia and uh, we're already up to ninth place God, we're going to score two points at this rate and uh, come lap four, we were really, we really did have some good pace on these intermediates. We dive out the inside of Jensen Button, and we have got ahead of a McLaren once again. We're splitting the McLarens at the moment. And uh, next up, it's Sergio Perez. Not sure whether we can really keep pace with him. Um, phew, I'm really not sure. You know, at the end of the day, it is a box um, on wheels, as as Arava, you know, first pointed out in the Road to Glory series, and. Just as I say that, the back end uh, has a mind of its own and, uh, yeah, it just completely goes to... It, it, it's just gone to Silverstone and back, to be honest. And uh, come lap 10, the track is starting to dry as I blabber on about rubbish. As uh, to be fair, that's just pretty normal for this series, you guys should know. And uh, we cut that corner absolutely beautifully. And uh, that tells us that these tyres are not working very well on this track. It doesn't look like they're overheating on there. Um, but we'll just say that they're overheating anyway, because it, it, it just felt like it was right for prime tyres. And... Um, it's time for some for some beast for some beasting of uh, of of this uh, track. I guess you could say we've got a huge undercut on the AI, and uh, yeah. So let's go overtake some cars. Let's go make up some time, and uh, yeah, it's hammer time. Let's go.
Well, hammer time is over, and I tell you what, you can't touch this. And, uh, oh God, that was such a bad joke. But anyway, we're up into P8, and I believe that was Button we've got ahead of, maybe even Grosjean as well. As you can see, we're still uh, knocking up a bit of spray. Uh, but, you know, who cares about that? Everyone else is out on the dry tyres. Unfortunately, we pitted really early, and that meant that we couldn't go into the Super Softs. Everyone else is on the Super Softs, and that is basically... Uh, like strapping, I don't know, uh, a rocket to a rocket, I don't even know what I'm saying. Basically, I'm in the slowest car with the slowest tyre, and we are not going to catch Sergio Perez unless we completely dive bomb him, like Perez did to Raikkonen in 2013, and uh, yeah, completely ruined Raikkonen's race, so a bit of karma, I think, is in order, although, uh, yeah, Perez kind of bolted away. We took a bit of damage to the front wing on lap 17, I believe, uh, I think it might even been at the Nouvelle Chicane, uh, but come lap 18, yeah, we're keeping a pretty decent gap, and um, while there's really nothing going on at the moment, uh, it's pretty boring. You know, it's, it's so boring that the snail train isn't back yet, we've got to have it back for the next race in Canada, unless we actually do really well, and uh, yeah, this series is no fun without a bit of drama, and uh, yeah, indeed, Grosjean did catch us up, because obviously he's on the superior tyre. We've been on ours for absolutely ages, and they're wearing out, and you know what that means. Slowest car, slowest tyre. Worn tyres, or uh, suicidal tyres, means that, well, we're kind of going to be under pressure. Uh, but uh, Grosjean is not going to try and uh, send me to Jerusalem at the final corner, and we come across the line for four points, guys. Oh, my God. Oh, wow, Grosjean is... He, I think he's nearly absolutely raged uh, as he's come over the line and tried to swipe us, but uh, he's controlled his rage and uh, not swiped us, luckily. Uh, as you can see, Chilton is ecstatic with that. And uh, eighth place, Jesus Christ. Um, yeah, thanks a lot, guys, for... Uh, for the support on these videos uh, recently. I said it on the F1 2010 uh, video yesterday, but uh, yeah, apologies for it not being up on time. I've decided to actually re-commentate it completely as we move on to the driver's standings now. Uh, yeah, so uh, it, it, I uploaded this about a week ago and it had no commentary on it. I have no idea what happened. Uh, but uh, yeah, driver standings, you've probably had a look at it already. But we're in sixth place, we're actually in joint fifth with Sebastian Vettel. Uh, but uh, yeah, take a look at those standings. Uh, remember to comment, all hail the snail if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.